guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Hannah here and today I will be turning my handwriting into a font. So these custom fonts can be used for your brand, for certain designs, for typing and more. So I've never done this prior to filming so it's going to be a new experience for me as it is probably for you as well. So I've seen a lot of people use calligraphers so that's the website I'll be using for today. Now let's open our laptops and get started. First, I googled calligrapher and it was the first result to come up. Now this is the homepage. I'll be checking out what features this site has to offer because I don't know too much about this. It looks here under features that there is standard font files, character randomization, which I didn't know was a thing. And here we have ligatures, which seems very cool if you're planning to do cursive or calligraphy for a font. Today I'll just be doing printing. Now onto the pricing options. I'll be going with the free account since I probably won't be using this often. It heads up for those doing cursive, ligatures are not included in the free one as we see here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make a free account. After creating a free account and verifying my email, I'm just going to check out the tutorial before I get started. So I learned afterwards that you don't need an account to read the instructions so you guys can read this through even before signing up. Feel free to also pause this video to read it through if you'd like. I'll definitely be keeping number 4 in mind as I feel like this will be very important for when we fill out the template later on. After going through the tutorial, let's get started. So we're going to create a template first. Here I will be selecting minimal English and minimal numbers as step 1 had said. Minimal punctuation was not included in this step, but I want to see what happens when selected. So this is one of the downsides to the free account. There isn't uh, a lot of characters you can use. So this isn't too big of a deal for me since I'm just doing this for fun. Now I'm just going to select the first two as the step said to do and I'm just going to download the template here and save it as a PDF to see what it looks like. So the template takes up two pages. I'm going to see if I can get it to one page so I won't be downloading this one. I'll be doing this one more time but decreasing the cell size and we'll see what happens when we download it again. So this is the perfect uh, size for me since it fits the whole page and I'll be filling this template out. Now I'm going to print out a couple sheets now. Now around three so we have a bit of variety. And then afterwards, I'm just going to save it as a PDF as well on my desktop for future fonts. These are the printed templates. They didn't fill out the entire page, but they will have to do. I'll be using three different pens slash markers, so there is a bit of variety in the thickness of the letters. I'll be printing in my usual handwriting with all three. Here we have the micro on pen, a sharpie marker, and a Tombow dual brush pen. I'll be starting off with the Tombow first, specifically with the thin side only. I won't be using the brush side of this. I screenshotted this from the tutorial earlier as to where to properly draw in the letter. I tried my best to follow this format as I assume doing this will allow my letters to be more uniform and not have like one letter higher than the other. And I apologize for the shaking of the camera stand. The desk I wrote on was not stable, unfortunately. Now 
now I'm going to use the Micron pen to do another template. I'm lastly doing one with the Sharpie marker. Unfortunately, I ended up just turning the Tombow one into a font. Here are the final results. Three different thicknesses for my handwriting. Now the next step is to scan the template that you want to upload. Here's a mini tutorial on how to scan documents with an iPhone if you don't have a printer to scan with. Go into notes, choose the scan option and take a picture of what you want to scan. It automatically crops it for you but you can always adjust it accordingly. Lastly, just make sure to save it once you're satisfied with it. I also learned afterwards that Calligrapher accepts pictures as well, so you can just send in a picture rather than scan. Going back to the website, we click My Fonts at the top of the page and upload the file of the filled out template. I chose the Tombow one since I uploaded the Micron one earlier and I wasn't a big fan of it. This is how my font looks like. I personally really like it. The next step is to scroll down and add characters to your font. Now we're going to click on build font to name it. I tried Hanex Fifi first but there was a server error. This happened to me so many times on the day that I used it. If it doesn't work the first time, do it again. Eventually it will go through. So I kept the original name the second time and it went through. Now we have a preview of my font. How exciting. If we look at the size comparisons, my font is definitely a lot smaller than the standard fonts. I will definitely keep this in mind when attempting to make a font again and draw it a bit more bigger the next time. I then went to check uh, Dutch and it actually looked really good, like a, like a real font. I am amazed by this. Then I went to check out the font sizes afterwards, just played around with this. And to download the font, I just clicked the TTF file at the top of the page since that's what the tutorial told me to do. And I found that it was in my downloads. So I moved it from my downloads to my desktop so I had an easier time finding it later on. Afterwards, you just click on the file that is saved and then install font and here it will come up. Here it is. So I'm just gonna go to pages first to see if it's there. I usually, usually use Microsoft Word and we'll check Word right after this. So I'm gonna check if my font is here and it is. Here it is. I'm just going to test it out by typing some more things out. Now onto Word. It didn't show up right afterwards here. I had to restart my laptop and then go back in here and it finally showed up, thankfully. So here we have the font in Word. It's quite small as the size comparison showed us earlier, but yeah, I just checked it out with the bold and the italics and the underlining and it looks really good. So hello everyone. Thank you for watching. I will basically say the same thing in my outro. So thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. If you guys found this helpful and you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day, my friends. Can you hear my voice? Am I too far away? Do I have to voice over what I have to say?